This tutorial shows how to insert and modify shapes in Microsoft Word. Hello, my name is Erin. This tutorial shows how to insert shapes in Microsoft Word. Word offers many shapes including circles, squares, arrows, banners, and speech bubbles. In addition, we'll look at how to change the shape color, outline, and effects such as shadows and reflections. Then we'll look at how to place shapes behind text and other objects. Sometimes shapes placed behind text or other objects can be difficult to reselect, so we'll also look at how to select them regardless of their location. To begin inserting a shape, select the Insert tab. Then select Shapes in the Illustrations group and select a shape from the drop-down menu. Your cursor will become a pointer with two crossed lines. Click and hold the pointer as you drag the shape onto the page. Use the resizing handles to adjust the size as necessary. Now we're going to change the shape's color, outline, and add effects. To begin, click the shape to select it. Next, select the Shape Format tab if you're not already there. This tab only appears when a shape is selected. From there, select the Shape Fill menu arrow, and then select a color from the drop-down menu. Alternatively, you can select More Fill Colors to open the Colors dialog box which provides advanced options including text boxes to enter, RGB, HSL, and hex codes. Today I'm going to choose one of the basic colors. Next, select the Shape Outline menu arrow, and once again select a color from the drop-down menu. Or select More Outline Colors to open the Colors dialog box. You can also select Weight to choose an outline thickness. And for even more customization, select Sketched to choose an outline that looks hand-drawn. Or select Dashes to choose a dashed or dotted outline. A final option is to select Shape Effects to add extras such as shadows, reflections, and beveled edges. Note that some of these options will alter your color and outline choices, so you may have to experiment to achieve the desired results. By default, shapes are positioned in front of the text and can be dragged anywhere in the document. However, you can place shapes behind text and other objects. Note that this section has separate steps for PC and Mac users. To begin, PC users should click the shape to select it. Next, select the Shape Format tab if it's not already selected, followed by the Send Backward menu arrow. From there, you can select Send Backward to send the shape back one level, or select Send to Back to place the shape behind all other objects. Send Behind Text places the shape behind the body text. However, this option doesn't place the shape behind header or footer text. Mac users should also click the shape to select it, and then select the Shape Format tab if it's not already selected. Next, select Arrange, followed by the Send Backward menu arrow. From there, you can select Send Backward or Send to Back. To place the shape behind the text, select Wrap Text, followed by Behind Text. If you can't select a shape placed behind the text or other objects, select the Layout tab in the ribbon. Then select Selection Pane. When the Selection Pane opens on the right side of your screen, select the shape. It should be selected in the text, and the Shape Format tab should appear in the ribbon. 
If the shape isn't listed in the selection pane, click your pointer on the page near the shape. The shape should then appear in the pane. And as always, remember to save your file to save your changes. For many more Microsoft Word tutorials, please see my playlist, How to Use Microsoft Word, which is linked in the description box below, along with my website, erinwritewriting.com, which shows all the steps we just performed with images. Feel free to leave me a comment if there's a specific topic that you'd like me to talk about in the future. And please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss upcoming tutorials. And give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching.